Sarah, and this is Average Betty. In this episode, I'm going to be making, well, sharing, all right, revealing, a top secret family recipe for coffee cake. Sure, there are more embarrassing family secrets I could share, but let's stick with the coffee cake for now. Here it is. Isn't it cute and hard to read and severely in danger of being damaged by anything? So let's put this one back in the family vault and get the recipe off averagebetty.com. I'm not going to use an electric mixer. I've got this old family bowl here and a whisk. To the bowl, we're gonna add some flour, white sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, salt, and the very secret ingredient, ginger. Ground ginger really is the secret ingredient in this recipe. It's the ingredient that surprised me the most anyway. It's also surprising that there's no vanilla in this recipe because I put vanilla in like everything. We need to add in some vegetable oil, really get that all incorporated. This is the part where having an electric mixer can really help. We're going old school. Once you've got that good and combined, remove a scoop of the mixture. Don't throw this away. To our remaining ingredients, we're going to form a well and add some buttermilk. Mm -hmm, buttermilk and an egg. So we're mixing, we're mixing. I'm gonna switch back to my whisk now and really give it some muscle. All right. So it looks nice and smooth. Now I'm just going to add in baking soda and baking powder. Give it another good mix. And now we're gonna set this one aside and bring this one back. We need to add some flour and some more cinnamon. And this is going to magically make that crumb topping we all love. So if you want to, you can add nuts to this mixture, but if you have children in your life, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, now we need to grease the pan. You can use butter or margarine or spray, whatever you want, just so it's not gonna stick. Okay, that looks good and greasy. Let's pour the batter into the pan and make sure that's spread around in there. And because we're going all old school family tradition, I'm gonna use my finger. Now for the crumb topping. You just wanna sprinkle this over the top of the batter as evenly as you can, all the way up to the edges. You don't want the people getting the corners to get chipped. They'll get mad. Now we just need to bake this in our preheated oven until it's yummy and done. Mmm, this smells so good. I can hardly wait to take a bite of this classic coffee cake. Hello? Oh, hi, Maria. Your coffee cake recipe. I haven't seen that anywhere. 